Take two of Facebook Live. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com. And the first time I tried this just a moment ago, I was sideways. So, you know, the best laid plans oftentimes go awry, especially with me. And I was already running late and trying to just make sure I was gonna do something really fun with you today. A little bit different. So I'm kind of in a little bit of a changing things up mode. I haven't changed things with my Facebook Lives in a couple of years. And I'm going to do a few little changes. So today is simple and stepped up stamping as always. So let me tell you what I'm focusing on today. I'm focusing on Wonderful World Bundle. And this is a free item you can get during celebration. Now, one of the things that you want to bear in mind is that although this is free with a $100 order, it is while supplies last. And what I mean by that is that Stampin' Up! creates exclusive items for celebration and sometimes they, uh, you know, something sells a lot more or is redeemed for free a lot more than they anticipated and so they start running out. And so you want to bear that in mind when you are doing your celebration shopping. I always like to encourage people to shop early so they're not disappointed. So, um, hey, Connie and Pam and Susie, I'm so glad you found me. You know, um, I started and then had to stop because once you start with Facebook Live and you're sideways, yeah, you just kind of have to abort the mission and start over. Um, I have some really fun um projects to show you today and one that I'm going to stamp with you and um, these are this paper is absolutely to die for I love 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 this paper very classic very um, summer garden just beautiful and so today I thought what I would do is a little bit different is I'm going to have a theme and the theme is all you know for the love of flowers um, if you're like me, you love flowers. I love flower gardens. You know, we spent nine years in England and they are absolutely famous and rightly so for amazing gardens. And you know, my friends who are in the UK, they still, I mean, they'll have just a little, what they call a postage stamp yard, just a tiny little, little yard, which they would call a garden and they will have flowers. You know, everybody has flowers. Um, of course, the, the growing conditions are such with lots of rain and cool weather that you can do that rather easily. But this reminds me of beautiful summer gardens. So this is called Wonderful World. You get this whole pack of designer series paper for free. Then you also get this gorgeous distinctive stamp set. Um, so I'm going to we're going to do some simple stamping with the uh, stamp set. But I wanted to show you a couple of things first, and that is, first of all, the bundle. And I wanted to show you that this is the kind of simple things that I'm gonna be using today. That if you place an order for $100, you get the bundle for free. So the, the $100 item that I chose uh, for your consideration today are the five new in colors, because this paper has both the Orchid Oasis and the Starry Sky, yeah, Orchid, Orchid Oasis and Starry Sky. It has Mossy Meadow, but the counterpart to uh, Parakeet Party is Mossy Meadow. So this is brighter, but it really blends nicely. And so, and, and truth be told, this Watermelon, Watermelon Wonder, this is Sweet Sorbet blends really nicely with these pinks. So, you know, there's a lot to love with the coordination with our end colors. And then, um, Hey, Barbara, I'm glad you're here as well. And oh, yay, Laura and Susan. Okay. Um, so if you chose these five markers plus the in color does, uh, cardstock that matches plus this bundle because Wonderful World does not have any words. And so I chose a um, greetings heavy bundle that would give you... Um, you know, more flowers and some awesome greetings and a couple of tags. So you can get that and a pack of basic white cardstock. And that is a lot of white cardstock, but you use it on just about everything. So all of that plus, where's my roll of ribbon? 
I chose this very neutral ribbon. This is one from our mini catalog and has a little, just a little touch of silver and it's called natural. And what I like about this is it goes equally well with basic white or very vanilla. Hey, Lisa and Desena, I'm glad you're both here. And let's see, do I, oh, and then I have the two adhesives that I'm going to use today uh, for my simple card is the liquid glue and the dimensional. So you can get all of this. And of course you would earn the stamp set and the designer series paper for free. You get all of this for $100. I think it comes out to like $100.50. Now you do have to pay your tax and shipping, but what I wanted to share with you is that right now I'm also doing my BOGO and you can find all the information for that at sweetstamper.com. So you could also choose $100 of stuff for free in my stash. So you really do double dip right now. And just kind of on my theme of For the Love of Flowers, I selected some things that you could get for free. So this is all things fabulous. This is a bundle that is, uh, this is all from my retired stash. Gorgeous posies. Now this is a stamp set. What I do with my retired products that I'm putting in my BOGO is when I have um, cards that were part of this, uh, maybe I did them on Facebook Live, maybe I did them in a class, I you know, I just put them with the class, with the uh, stamps or the bundle, and that gives you a little bit of extra value and some great ideas. Um, this was in our spring catalog. We actually have a coordinating punch that's still active. Um, I did a lot of fun things with that. So you could get that stamp set, and here is a greetings only stamp set. You could get all of this for free on top of everything here and the free wonderful world bundle. So just a fun way to double dip right now. This is just an example. This totals right at about $100. And so the way my BOGO works is you choose, you know, maybe $100 of what you want that's for free. And then you place an order for $100 and you get this for free. Now you do pay the shipping on this, but I mean, this is going to go into a priority envelope. I could probably ship that to you for $8. That's my guess. I mean, I have to give you the exact. So that is my For the Love of Flowers kind of presentation today. Um, so let's see what we're going to stamp today. And we are going to use these items right here. And I do have a few things that are prepped to kind of move us along. I don't like people getting bored. And I get bored rather easily. Um, well, not in life, but with presentations. So um, this kind of shows you some examples of what you can do with this bundle, which I like to kind of have that ha handy at the ready so that when I pull a stamp set or bundle out, um, then I have some examples handy and ready to go. So let's look at what I'm going to do here is I am going to use one color that's not in my in color stash and that is uh, melon mambo but doesn't that a great hey betty i'm glad you're here today too isn't that a great coordinating color that is melon mambo one of our brights and um what i'm going to do is we're going to take i think this is a two by four piece of basic white cardstock now you remember um i have done this with you before i am going to ink this up with two different colors and I'm going to choose the Orchid Oasis and Parakeet Party. This is an iris, and so irises, tend, they come in a lot of different colors, but traditionally you'll see them more in the purple, the purpley blues, and that's what I'm gonna go with. Now, whenever you are stamping a multicolored image, and you create that by using your uh, stamp and write markers. Again, this set of markers is $15 for five colors. It's a great value. So what I like to do and what I highly recommend is that you start with your lighter color first and you always use the side of the brush tip so that you maintain the integrity of your, um, your pointed end. You don't want to dull that and get it all mushy and flabby. You know, that's just not, that's going to, cause a problem when you're doing other types of coloring. Now, once you get to the end of your coloring, you typically are gonna need to huff on your stamp. So all I did was breathe on it, and that's going to reactivate any of the ink that may have started to dry just a little bit. Now, 
look at how pretty. This is where this distinctive stamp, you see how it's already shading that image for me? It's just absolutely so cool and gives me, even with the leaves, you see how I've got gradients of color? So I love, love, love that. Now, as I said, I wanted to have a greeting and there's no greeting in here. So I'm gonna use the birthday wishes and I'm, I'm gonna actually ink up my birthday wishes with Starry Sky. Now this is the darkest of the new ink colors and um, it's gonna pick up the darker color here in my flower in my iris. So these are um, the Sending Smiles, our photopolymer, which makes it super easy to place them. <laughs> Having said that, I think I'm a little crooked. <laughs> well, we will just go with it. Let's go. Actually, I think it looks pretty good. So I think we're going to stick that down. But before we do that, let's look at what we're going to do with our Parakeet Party card base. This is 11 by quarter quarter and I have scored it at five and a half as usual I have no bone folder gosh I have so many bone folders because I leave them in <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and give this a nice crease and I thought what we would do is you know as pretty as this is and as simple as it is the current challenge for hashtag simple stamping Hey, Valerie, I'm glad you're here as well, um, is stamp sync paper and ribbon. So that's where I'm gonna bring in just a little hint of this ribbon. I think that's gonna be just a nice touch. But before I do that, I wanted to take this leaf image. Now, I may not like the way this looks, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I may have to get a whole new card base going. So you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna see how this would look if I random stamped some leaves in the background. So I'm going to just grab a little, um, just a scrap of Parakeet Party. So how is that going to look? If I do that in the background, I like that. I think that looks cool. Hey, Iris, I'm glad you're here. Actually, I think you go by Yvette. Um, so I think that's going to look nice. That tone on tone is going to give a little bit of interest. And that's one of the things when you are limiting the number of items that you're using, you know, sometimes we rely very heavily on our dyes and our embellishments and all of these little bits, these little fancies that we add. Um, sometimes we forget what we can do with just stamp sync and paper. And that's what I love about uh, hashtag simple stamping challenges. Now, I didn't really mean to, but I'm sort of kind of going with something a little bit symmetrical here. Didn't really plan that, but it just kind of started happening. So let's see. Um, let's see how that's, oh, it's actually looking pretty good. Almost looks like ribbons there. Um, let's do a little bit more. And then I think I, I cut some strips of cardstock thinking that I would use them as kind of an accent. But let's just kind of go with this and see what we come up with. So I haven't decided yet whether I want to do this you know, offset, I think I might do it offset, or if I want to do it straight, I mean, I could even go this way. But what I thought to do, I have some of these in, um, these are Orchid Oasis. Oh, now maybe I would do it like that. And then, because I've kind of put that where I would typically put this. Now, these are Starry Sky, and I could actually go this way with some Starry Sky. And maybe I could, because these are longer strips. Mm, not quite. Let's see. Oh, and maybe I could go down here like so. Let's see. Let's just play with this a little bit. Maybe. I don't think I need those that let's see if I don't put that on there I think I don't need that stamping on there because I think this is going to be a better look what do we think you know I definitely depend on your input here oh kind of like that and as I typically do I oftentimes more often than not I don't you know make this ahead of time now that's on the diagonal now these are shorter these are 
so this is picking up the darker ink here and the darker ink here. This is picking up the softer and these are shorter, so I would need to go with a horizontal. Um, so definitely, you know, make let your voice be heard. I would love to hear what you're thinking about my little design here. Kind of like the three right across and then like so. And then maybe we'd put a couple of those, um, maybe we'd put a couple of these little guys down here and then maybe this here, or is that too much across the middle? Maybe that's just too much. Let's see how we can do this. Nobody's giving me any input yet. Some of you designers, let me know what you're thinking. Let's go back to the diagonals. Let's see what we think about this. Just maybe I need to maybe I need to space them apart more. But I kind of like the three. Okay, so Yvette, you're saying to mix it up. Okay, so do you mean, I think what you mean is to do maybe a couple of the starry sky and one of the oh, kind of like that. Of the orchid oasis. Or maybe we want to go just two of the Orchid Oasis and one of the Starry Sky. Hmm, lots of options. Now, let's see what that looks like. If we go back to having, I think I did too much stamping on there. I think that's what I don't like about that. So let me grab another card base. done and it is a side fold so let's just kind of change it up a little bit here but yeah I think that if I were not doing the strips I would be okay with this but if I'm gonna do the strips of cardstock and actually I think it's too yeah I think that was a good look with that <laughs> but you know you don't know unless you try so that's the fun of what we do with our paper crafting is we experiment we try different things out and we come up with different looks so diagonal two and two short, oh, oh, now there we go. If we went this way and this way, now that's interesting. If we go like so, okay, so you almost get like a little plaid effect. Okay, Yvette, let's see. And then we could put this down like so. Oh, I kind of like, okay, so let's see. I'm, I'm liking what you're coming up with there. So let's see what we can do with, let's see, yep, there we go. Let's get a little bit, and I think we are definitely going to offset this. So let's offset it just a little bit. But I think that's going to be a good look with this. And let's try two short ones up at the top and I do recommend that when you're doing this type of a um, of a procedure a technique um, that you do use um, your liquid glue because yeah your seal is not quite wide enough depending on the, on the width of your strips these are pretty narrow strips so I think I'm gonna bring that up there like so and then we're gonna do two long strips going the other direction. And I like having, this is gonna almost form like a little corner up here. And let's see, let's go this way on the others. Okay. You know, this again, this is what you can do with just stamp sync and paper. And it is good to go back to the basics. And you know, truth be told, we're actually kind of, we're actually doing kind of a cool technique here. So let's do it this way. And I'm going to instead of showing you a stepped up card or doing stepped up with you today, I'm going to actually just show you one that I've already done, just for the sake of time. As I said, I was doing things a little bit different today and kind of showing you a way that you can double dip on your orders right now um, and be able to get a lot for free. So I've got where you can get 
your celebration items for free, plus my retired items for free. A lot of free stuff. Oh, you know what? That's going to be too much. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Let's us see. And of course, this may not be what Yvette meant when she was sharing this because, you know, when I'm having to interpret what you're saying in this online format, sometimes it can be a little bit different. I don't want to cut the fold. So yeah, when you're doing this kind of a technique, I'm gonna have to clean my scissors, um, you do want to um, cut off the edges after you've applied them. Okay. Now, I almost think I don't need the Melon Mambo. I think that's what I don't need. I need to go back to just a simple, simple stamped image. I think that's what's throwing me. Let's see. Let's see what we think. That is actually better. That color was too, too much. Now I can go this way. Kind of like it that way. What do you think? And pop it up on some dimensionals. Now I've got a little bit of, um, a little bit of um, gluey goobers going there. Let's see what I can do. Um, now that's what you don't want to do. Candy has her marker left open. You don't want to do that. So let's close that up and then let's get some dimensionals going. Here we go. Nobody's talking to me. So tell me if you think I've created something that's great or something that's awful. I do like to create on camera and do when anything goes. I do think this is a beautiful stamp set. But you know, with what we're doing today, I'm using a really bold, um, color scheme and a really bold um, pattern here, and then juxtaposing that with a really soft flower. But I think it gives kind of a modern look. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I think I'm gonna go right there. Yeah, it is unique, you're right, Yvette. And um, now, Where's my little piece of ribbon? I wanted to dress it up with a little bit of ribbon. I like it. Okay. Definitely different than the way I was going to originally go. And again, like I keep wanting to stamp this leaf over here somewhere, but I think if I put it on the inside, oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, look at there. I can actually add another strip. I can add another strip, voila. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you just play around. Let's bring this down a little bit. What do we think about that? Tone on tone strip? I kind of like it. But I kind of, yep, there we go. There we go. That's gonna be it right there. <laughs> and that is gonna go up on dimensionals. Okay, we just stepped it up another notch on the um, unique status. And this is, I think, like a one inch strip. I don't know, this was just lying on my, on my um, design center table. And that is going to go like so. Well, you guys can tell me if you think I'm all washed up or if you think that's kind of a fun addition. So this is definitely an, an eclectic card. You know that word eclectic, it means when you mix, um, when you mix several different um, styles together. So we have definitely mixed very bold and very soft and classic, but I think it's come together very, very nicely and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I think you're right, Betty. The Melon Mambo was too much. When I started adding those strips, it was like, whoa, that's just, it, it became busy. Well, let's see, here's my mini glue dot. Here we go. So while I'm kind of finalizing this, did I get my glue dot? Yeah, just a little bit of softness. 
and you see how it's really neutral gives I wanted just a little bit of shine without adding any rhinestones or anything well first of all because the challenge is to use ribbon not rhinestones so I wanted something that was going to bring a little bit of shine but not be like I definitely didn't need to add more color so I'm actually really happy with the way this came out um, this is going to go in the mail to somebody today so I'm going to draw from comments and I'm starting to get my backlog caught up so that I can do that once again and I'm going to put a couple I really like these leaves <laughs> so let's put a couple of leaves on the uh, envelope and like I said this is going to go in the mail today so let's do one there and you know parakeet party when you stamp it off like that oh yeah it's pale but it's pretty so that is my stamp sink and paper plus ribbon hashtag simple stamping card for today now let me show you what i did for my stepped up using the same items that are well a different ribbon but this is my stepped up so i still went with the same color scheme and what I did here was, believe it or not, this is actually, I didn't actually stamp any of this. Um, this is actually the paper. And let me show you what I mean by that. Where's the paper? Here we go. So when you go to this pattern and you cut these into, I think it's one and a half inch strips, you can punch these out. Now, you can punch them out with um, phooey. Ha ha, here we go. See, I wanted to go, I skipped this one because I wanted more color. And so you can just choose whichever ones you want and look how nicely they fit in that postage stamp punch. Um, this is no stamping here. All I did was stamp a greeting and I did punch this out with the, um, with the dies from sending smiles. But this, look at how many cards you could make with that. And um, yeah, I think this is just really fun way to use the designer series paper and get a really gorgeous look in just a few minutes. So that is with your postage stamp punch. And once again, as I'm wrapping up today's cards, I wanted to share with you this is my host code and when you use this host code you can get equal dollars in my retired stash you can find that at, at actually my retired stash you'll find at sweetstamper.com that's my blog shopwithcandy.com is my online store so you can do your shopping in my online store you can go to my um, sweetstamper.com blog and you can find all of the things that I have that you can get for free and you just pay uh, priority postage on that. And I mean, if you're only getting a couple of items, I can probably put, send them um, uh, first class mail, but most of you are gonna you know, be getting enough to where I need to put it. If it's over a pound in weight, then you have to put it in, um, in um, what do you call it? Um, I get you you can't send it first class, you just send it priority. So this is what I had on my purchase. This is what I had selected because my theme today was for the love of flowers. So all of this you could get for free. And uh, that is by using my host code and going to my BOGO stash. Remember that with that $100 order, you would also get, um, oh, I forgot to put it on here, the uh, wonderful world um, bundle for free. So I will redo my little thing because I'm going to link this for you. Um, but you, of course, you could you could select something else from uh, celebration. But this is a level two item, which means you have you spend a hundred dollars and you get these two items for free. And I think it's a great deal. So I am going to love you and leave you for today. Um, I today is the very last day to get my. Um, Christmas card, um, Christmas in July class to go. Um, I have a new blog post up today. I'm part of a blog hop. 
with all kinds of great inspiration from the new mini catalog. This is the card that I showcased today that was my creation. And then I also launched last night um, this fun um, card class. And this is my cards with a twist for July. And I think the cards are probably downstairs being worked on for the PDF tutorial. Actually, let me see. It might be, nope, they're downstairs. I was photographing and doing PDF. So anyway, lots of card classes, lots of fun, lots of freebies that you can get. I thank you so much for your consideration. If you are watching from YouTube, I would appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. And if you're watching on Facebook, in the replay, be sure to say hello. Let us know you're watching replay. Thank you everyone who is here with me live today. I appreciate your support ever so much. Thank you for sharing my video, it helps me. And I thank you again. I will be here Tuesday. And I've got some uh, fun things, some changes I'm gonna be making on my Tuesday Facebook Lives. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Take care and God bless.